Hey guys, it's Brian with the S4 Trophies, and I'm going to show you how to solo the Exo Survival Co-op mode in uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. My strategy is pretty simple. At the beginning of each round, I'm going to activate my uh, Goliath kill streak. Now I'm playing the Heavy class, and this is the kill streak award for the Heavy class. It also has a gun that uh, doesn't use ammo. Uh, you just got to make sure you don't overheat it. Now at the beginning of the round, I'm going to activate my suit. And I'm going to kill every enemy on the screen, or at least try to, except for one. It's very crucial that you leave one guy alive. Now when you're in the suit, uh, eventually the suit will get too damaged and it'll be destroyed. Or you can also self-destruct it by hitting the square button. When that happens, you're going to be uh, respawning at a different part of the map. And then you're going to want to make your way to your home base. Now my home base, I set up camp here on the comeback map. This is a tier 2 map, and in the back right corner near the exoskeleton terminal uh, is this building that I'm using as my home base. So I'm trying to take out as many of these uh, guys as I can, I'm trying to leave just one guy alive. I see only one on the map there. So my suit uh, destroyed itself there. Yeah, and I have one enemy left. Now at this point, I'm just going to run around and wait until my Goliath suit is recharged. You can see it on the bottom right corner, as soon as that gray bar reaches all the way to the right, uh, my suit will be active again, and at which point I'm going to take out the last guy, and then at the start of the next wave, once again, I'm going to activate my suit, and then just keep doing that every single wave. Now, occasionally you're going to get some optional objectives popping up on the screen. Uh, you want to complete those. Uh, they do reward you with two uh, upgrade points that you can use to upgrade your uh, skills and your uh, kill streak as well. So you want to upgrade those uh, whenever you can. And I'm just kind of letting this last guy just run around trying to find me. Now, if you uh, are late in the uh, in the game here, I'm on uh, uh, wave 20 my second time around. What happens is you get to wave 25, you're going to what's called flip the map, and you will earn a trophy for that as soon as you beat wave number 25. And that resets you back to wave 1. And then if you survive another, another 25 waves, you will earn the flip flop trophy. And uh, if you don't complete the optional objectives, one of uh, five negative events will happen. One of which is enemies will throw smoke grenades, uh, system hack on your XO, uh, there's an attacking drone swarm, enemy turrets, uh, which you will have to take out, and then you'll have a loss of primary weapon. All of the uh, negative effects for not completing the optional objectives are temporary, and they usually only last about a minute. With the exception of the enemy turrets, you will have to take those out. They'll carry over between rounds. Now my uh, Goliath suit is almost ready almost fully recharged so I'm gonna go and take out this last guy as soon as it is completely recharged and there you go so as, we, as soon as we find him here we're gonna take him out when he's got a shield now the enemies on the second set of uh, 25 are much more difficult than the uh, the first time you're here but you are gonna be more upgraded so it's actually not that difficult at all so at the beginning of the match I'm gonna throw down the exo suit again or I'm sorry the Goliath the XS1 suit, I believe they call it. And I'm going to again proceed to take out all the enemies with the exception of one. Now there are, I mentioned um, the upgrade points that you earn. You get two for completing each wave. You get two more if you complete the optional objectives. And uh, what you want to do is spend those points carefully uh, and don't use them on things you don't need. Uh, what I did was upgraded my weapon proficiency to level 7, and then at which point uh, my armor upgrade is available. You can't upgrade that until level, uh, I believe, 10. So then I proceeded to upgrade my armor. So as soon as you get your armor to 10, get your weapon proficiency to level 10, uh, after that uh, you're going to want to purchase the Exo Cloak. That'll allow you, by hitting L1, to go invisible. So if you're getting yourself into some trouble, uh, hit L1 and you can go invisible. Uh, then I get the Exo battery after that. And then I proceed to upgrade my actual kill streak, my Goliath. And the Goliath has underbarrel rockets, a trophy system, recon, and homing missiles. You want to get all of those upgrades 
And then the final upgrade I got was Heat Sink, which is from the Weapon Upgrade Terminal. It'll allow you to uh, go longer without overheating. So there we go, I killed the last guy after my suit here uh, was ready to activate. In the beginning of this round, uh, it is a dog tag round. Now I mentioned you should complete all of the uh, optional objectives. However, once you get to, uh, you know, wave 30, the final 20 waves or so, you can probably uh, avoid doing these uh, optional objectives. Again, you'll have one of those negative events happen. But uh, it's not too bad, and I'll show you here. I'm trying to uh, complete this objective. I probably shouldn't have. I'm on uh, wave 22 of my second set. So that would be a wave 47 total. And uh, I'm abandoning my objective here. I'm going invisible because I'm losing health. So I'm going to go back over here near my home base. And I'm going to activate my suit and take care of the rest of the guys again, with the exception of one. And uh, while we have just a moment here, um, there are some people having issues unlocking the veteran difficulty trophy and the collectible trophy. Apparently the game is having issues, at least on the PlayStation 4 of version, of actually tracking that progress for some reason. And there's really nothing you can do about it. Uh, when you go to the next mission, as soon as that loads up, uh, save and exit and just make sure through mission select that it shows that you've completed on veteran difficulty. Alright, so I got my uh, my uh, Goliath suit here. I have 23 seconds here to collect the rest of the dog tags. I'm not going to do it. And I mentioned those five uh, negative events, the smoke, the system hack, uh, drone swarms, enemy turrets and the loss of primary weapon it's gonna be one of those five negative events now again with the exception of the turrets they're temporary and my suit was just destroyed so you'll respawn now there's an incoming nano swarm I have one enemy left and a nano swarm so nano swarm is just these little uh, red kind of globes and if you get caught inside of it it's gonna slow you down leave you vulnerable so just keep running around and avoid those, and you should be okay. Now I have, again, the one guy, so I'm going to just kind of run around until the... Uh, I got caught in the nano swarm there. I'm going to just keep running around until my suit is ready to be used. Kill the last guy. And then start the next round. Again, throwing down my Goliath right at the very beginning. Team, be advised. Enemies are using cloak capabilities. Use threat detection if you've got it. There we go. I'm going to throw a threat grenade out there. Get in the suit, and it again is fully upgraded, so I have rockets that I can hit R1. I was homing rockets that hit L L1. If I hit triangle, I can ping the area so it'll reveal enemy positions on the map. And I do have uh, most of the perks as well. You get perks from the supply drops, or support drops rather. I'm just going to take out everybody. There's a flying drone out there. If you leave the flying drone as the last uh, enemy, you can just hide inside a building. You don't actually have to run around. And uh, as, a, as a side note, because you're spending a lot of time waiting for your Goliath to recharge before you finish the wave, uh, it's going to be just a lot of tedious running around. And in, to in total, it's going to take you a couple hours to do this. And you can't pause the game, unfortunately. Uh, so it's, it's going to, uh, you're going to be, be here for a while, but it is safe. Um, you can probably survive you know, 75, 100 waves, I guess, if you're careful. I stopped as soon as I got the trophy, of course. All right, so my Goliath is ready. I'm going to kill the last enemy, which is that uh, drone out there. And we're going to go to wave number 24 of my second set after I flipped it. So this is uh, my 49th wave. And there's another uh, optional objective here, collect dog tags. I ain't even going to try this time. I'm just going to throw down my suit and take out the enemies. Uh, there is one self-revive you do get uh, per match. 
So if you do run into trouble and you make a mistake, you can uh, revive yourself and and uh, hope and survive another day. Hopefully. So the suit can take a lot of damage, and this heavy class is uh, is quite nice. Now I just pretty much camp in this building here on the comeback map. Again, it's a tier two map. Uh, in order to unlock the tier two map, you have to survive 50 waves cumulatively uh, across many matches on tier one before you can access tier uh, tier two. Now I'm sure there's many other maps that has similar kind of locations like this where you can create a home base. There we go. My suit was destroyed, so respawning over here I still have several enemies so be careful if you have a UAV you can use it it helps locate the enemy if you do get in trouble make sure you use your cloak so I have three enemies left two one I'm gonna leave the last guy alive wait for my uh, suit to recharge and because I'm not gonna collect all these dog tags I'm going to have some sort of negative effect. We'll see what it is. At this point, none of them are going to be too bad. Uh, if it's turrets, I'm going to have to go run around and find them and, and shoot them. Now, there are other uh, uh, events that can, or uh, objectives. Uh, there's a defend the hard point, which requires you to kill 10 enemies within the radius of the hard point itself. Another one's dropped intel. You pick up intel off the dead bodies. Uh, collecting the dog tags, of course, which we've seen a couple times. And then there's a defuse, which requires you to defuse three bombs. And again, in the last 15 to 20 waves, uh, once you have your everything's completely upgraded, uh, you don't want to uh, you don't want to chance it. It's, you're probably better off just surviving the negative effect. There we go. That negative effect was, by the way, the uh, loss of primary weapon, which since I'm not going to shoot that last guy, it was no big deal. So this is the final round. At the start of it, I have some uh, kill streak here. I'm just going to use it. And the final round here, and the second time through, is going to have two AST uh, guys, uh, the mechanized guys. And if you have the uh, Goliath suit with the rockets and the homing missile, you can take care of them actually pretty easily. When you get to the first level to or wave 25, there's I believe one Goliath. Uh, I'm sorry, one AST. The second time is going to be two. We're just shooting these guys uh, using the rockets when it's uh, when it's open available, and then you can see the ASTs on the map are the big red squares. So I'm going to try to take them out with my rocket there and my uh, homing rockets there. One of each of those and a few shots from your uh, machine gun should take care of them. Uh, my suit was uh, destroyed. It, it just destroys itself after a while as well. There's a timer on it. Now we just have one more guy left, so we're going to go and track him down. And uh, that's it. That's the, there's three enemies left, and then one of them is the AST. Used my kill streak. Of course, it didn't kill him. One of the enemies is the drone flying around my head somewhere. There we go. So we have just him. I'm going to just play it safe, kind of get up high and shoot him from uh, above. And that's really it. Just again to recap, uh, use your Goliath suit as soon as the round starts. If there's a dog tag collecting round, I, I don't use it because you have to run around the map. Um, again, I only did all the objectives up until the... Uh, Probably round or wave 10 or so my second uh, my second set here. So again, use your Goliath suit right at the beginning of the round. Kill as many as you can. Kill all but one and then wait for the uh, Goliath suit to recharge. Kill the last guy. And then uh, launch the suit again at the beginning of the next round. So that's really this, the, the short version, which I probably could have just led with that. This would have been an 8 second video. <laughs> and as soon as you kill this guy, you've completed the 25th round uh, on the second time around. So you're going to flip flop the map, I guess. There you go. And uh, you can keep going. You can do another set of 25 and just keep going. It never ends. The enemies just get a little tougher each time you do it. 
So there's the trophy, guys. We got the flip-flop trophy. I want to thank you for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe.